you're interested in studying at Mind School of Music, but the application process seems a little complicated, don't worry. In this video, we'll show you where you can find all the important information, how the application process works, and who you can ask if you have any issues. The first thing you need to know is, what do I want to study? On the website for the School of Music, you'll find detailed information on all the different study programs, as well as the requirements for the aptitude test. Here's how you get there. Go to Study Options. There you'll find an overview of all the study programs we offer, and you can pick the program you're interested in. For example, Voice. On this page, you'll see an overview of the study program as well as the requirements for the aptitude test. In the right column, or if you're on your mobile at the bottom of the page, we provide more information on the aptitude test and examination regulations, and further details on your studies. Here you'll also find the contact information for the Student Advisory Office and the Director of the Division. If you want to learn more about the Divisions, go to the Divisions page, click on any division that interests you, to learn more about it, and to meet the respective faculty. From this page you can also access all the offered study programs in the division. And if you ever get lost, the search field can surely help to get you where you want to go. So, now you decided on a study program and you have all the information on it that you need, that means we can get started with the application for the aptitude test at Mainz School of Music. Go to Application and you'll find all the deadlines you need to be aware of. Please have a close look at these because there are different deadlines. For the recognition of foreign certificates and diplomas, for the application at the School of Music, and for the application for enrollment at the university. Wait a second, do I need that too? Yes, Mind School of Music is part of Johannes Gutenberg University. Therefore, you have to apply to both places. So please don't forget the second application. On this page we walk you through the application process step by step. With this guide by your side, you're all set. All students with foreign certificates or diplomas have to submit these documents for recognition first. Please make sure to do this in time. Once you're done with that, or if it didn't apply to you in the first place, you can move on to the application for the aptitude test. On this page, you'll find the registration forms for each study program. Okay, what should you do with these? Pick out the form for your study program and save it to your device. Then you can edit it with the free software Adobe Reader DC. When you're finished, send the filled out form as well as the other application documents to this email address. If you have any questions, check out our FAQ on the application and aptitude test procedures. And if that doesn't answer your questions, our student advising office is more than happy to help. This is what our application forms look like. Here we're looking at the form for the Orchestral Instruments Bachelor, for example. If you opened it with Adobe Reader, you can simply tick the boxes and type into the text fields. By the way, these pointed fingers lead you to links with further information. If you're ever unsure of something while filling out the form, this is where you'll find the answers. Each form also comes with a list of the documents you need to include in your application email. Please have a close look at the list and name the files accordingly. When you're done with that, 
sign the form. This works digitally too. And send it to this email address. Along with the other documents that are listed in the form. There's no need to send your documents by post as well. Once you're finished, you've earned a break. Lean back and have a cup of coffee. Oh, that's right, you're a musician, so you're probably saving the coffee for later and would rather play your instrument now. But please don't forget, you have to enroll at the university too. Good thing we offer a video that shows you how to do that too.